Hello, um, this is Alan Kendall, and uh, during economic expansions and contractions, we have a sector rotation that goes on within the stock market, and money tends to flow around the economic triangle like this. In the far lower left corner, we have as uh, hiring picks up, um, technology and transportation, um, they pick up in, in earnings. Um, technology picks up because as people are hired, they, they order and they purchase more PCs to put on their desks. They have to order uh, better um, human resources, better infrastructure software, better ordering software, and, uh, and uh, computers, and uh, networking software, and all that, uh, and, and networking uh, equipment, and all that uh, um, is being fun funnel is all that is being, uh, money is going into technology. Transportation goes up because goods and services have to be transported. Then in the middle years, um, you have capital goods and services, the middle part of the left side there on the, on the, uh, tr of the triangle. As three to five years that uh, transportation companies have been making money, the airlines say, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, buy uh, more planes from Boeing so that we have less maintenance costs on, uh, on this old equipment. Let's get rid of it and let's buy newer planes. Then at the peak of the economic expansion, you have uh, energy and basic materials goes up because the worldwide global expansion is pulling on energy. And uh, basic materials like uh, steel and aluminum, those also go up as uh, they're being used in manufacturing. And so these uh, economic expansions typically run seven years. They typically don't run, they typically run up to seven years. They typically don't run eight years. We saw under Lyndon B. Johnson, Reagan, and Clinton, we hit the eighth year and the economic expansion collapsed. Then what happens is money gets, as money is pulled out of technology, tra um, transportation, capital goods, services, it starts to get rotated into consumer staples on the top right um, corner there. We have XLP as an ETF fund that you can buy for consumer staples. Um, um, drugs and healthcare, also money is rotated in them. They have stable earnings during a, a recession. Then when the real recession hits and then the government admits that we're in a recession and they lower rates, bonds go up because if you buy a bond and it's at 5% and then they lower rates and the other bonds are at 4%, then um, your bond is, is producing a higher yield so it goes up in value. Um, gold goes up as there's a flight to quality um, into gold. And then at the, at the end of the economic expansion, the third phase of the economic contraction, um, utilities go up because the energy has dropped during, a, during an economic contraction because of less demand. Financials start to do better because as interest rates are lowered, more people refinance. And so banks make more money on points as they do more loans. Um, autos, retail, and housing do better. Automobile manufacturers give 0% uh, loans. Um, retail, like JCPenney, Sears, they give uh, cheap credit cards with low interest, and so more people um, are buying things. Um, housing does well because the low interest rates pushes up, starts to push up housing. More people are buying homes, and to a lesser degree, restaurants, resorts, and vacations also do well at the end of an economic expansion. Um, and then once uh, once hiring starts up again, then we just it just transfers over to the left side of the economic um, triangle, and we start the expansion again. What's very interesting to know is that during the economic contractions, they they when we're losing when the government is lowering rates like they did under Bush Senior and Bush Junior, um, those economic contractions um, they tend to be three to four years. But when the interest rates are already low. Um, like they were under the uh, Nixon era and uh, like they are today under Obama, um, economic expansions, um, economic contractions last much more than three years. They typically last uh, seven to ten years. We see in the 70s we went into an economic contraction in the 1970 and we came out in 82, 12 years later. So we had 11, 12 years of increased unemployment and the um, and uh, the um, economic contraction lasts for many years. So that's what we're in now. In the decade of 2010 through 2019, we're likely to have a very long recession that we won't come out of it by government spending and stimulus plans. It will take um, a long time before we come out of that recession. We actually have these very long economic contractions every 40 years. 120 years ago in 1890, we had a major recession. Of course, we had the Great Depression in the 1930s, and then we had the 12-year recession of the 1970s, and we're back to it again 40 years later in uh, 2010. We're slated for a very long economic um, contraction um, that could last a whole decade. 
Um, I hope this has been of some benefit. Um, if you'd like to take advantage of this, you can look at the ETF funds that are on the uh, that are there around, right around the triangle, and you can trade them. I find it very hard to follow all these sectors and industries if it's uh, 10 to 14 years before you come back to a sector and you want to invest in it. You have to relearn the companies who are the leaders sometimes, but uh, I find it easier just to trade the ETF funds. Um, have a nice day. Bye-bye.